So on the Bazite website, uh, you can see here, I'm actually on uh, Fedora Workstation 43 on my laptop, and I'm going to be installing Bazite on my hardware. I'm not doing it in a VM. So this is the website here. It's got all the good stuff about Bazite. And if you go to the download Bazite section here, it actually gives you... I was a little confused by this at first, but um, if you just take your time and read it properly, it's fine. So you have several different images for different types of hardware. Um, I just picked other laptop. And then uh, my primary GPU is going to be... It's an integrated AMD GPU on the laptop. So this would be... So this is 4X or better, which mine is. Uh, desktop, I actually picked GNOME. And it's got a, a Steam gaming mode here. Do you want that or not? You can see that what it does. You can just pick here. Yes. Do you want to plug the Steam gaming mode? Or no, I want a traditional desktop experience, which is what my situation is. So you can just go ahead and download it there. It is big. It's um, seven something gigabytes in my case. So I went ahead and installed it. The install was pretty straightforward. There was a little bit at the end where he's talking about the uh, secure boot, and I, for a moment, panicked because I couldn't remember whether my system was set up for the secure boot or not. It, it wasn't. It turned out, so I didn't really have to do anything. Um, if it is secure boot, you have to like set up the uh, the the key to get it to work properly, which they have instructions for here. Um, there's a little uh, pop-up at the end of the installation telling you how to do it, so pretty straightforward. You have to think a little bit, just, you know, take your time and make sure you're doing the right thing, but it, it's, it was fine. Now, because I had installed from Fedora, it actually allowed me to, because Bazite, I guess, is based on Fedora, it actually allowed me to just install over the top of my existing, uh, incorporating my existing home partition information. So I was able to retain a lot of my stuff that I had on the Fedora install, which was nice. It means I didn't have to copy. St I'd already copied my stuff off, but it didn't means I didn't have to copy back on again. I did have to in in reinstall some apps, that kind of thing. And uh, we'll talk about that uh, next. So in Bazite, uh, the preferred method of installing software is through flat packs, and the flat packs are installed. Again, this is a preferred method using a portal called Bazaar, not Bazaar as in weird, but Bazaar as in a shopping mall type situation. So you can search for your apps here. It looks a bit like um, the uh, uh, GNOME App Store, although it seems to work quite a bit quicker <laughs> than that and it's easy enough to install stuff you just you know pick your app and you do create a here if you like install that real quick <clears throat> and this is i believe this is kind of like a front end a sort of curated front end for flat hub um the apps still come from flat hub but they're just um you know presented through this this bizarre interface which is quite user friendly and that seems to be as i said the preferred method you, you can install some things i think with rpms and such you can also use app images um but the rpms add a layer of complexity i guess to the to keeping the system updated and so on so it's preferred i think that you use flat packs or app images and then we have critters installed it's as easy as that So as I mentioned, when I installed Bazite, I effectively reinstalled over the top of my existing Fedora installation, which worked fine, um, by the way. The only thing I noticed right off the bat was that my uh, pCloud instance, which is my cloud drive setup, um, it would show up in here in uh, you know, the uh, file manager. But if I clicked on the pCloud P -Cloud drive, there'd be nothing there. It'd just be empty. So that was weird. So I was going to just uninstall and reinstall pCloud. 
But then I noticed this article here. From Reddit, can't get cloud storage to show up in Dolphin. And in this case, it was a Bazak desktop with KDE. I have been on, but it's the same principle. With pCloud, um, can't install the client without LibFuse 2T64. And I've run across that before in Fedora, where you need to install that LibFuse part. But the trouble is, in um, Bazite, you're not encouraged or you're discouraged to use to try and install stuff via RPMs. Um, so I used the solution here where he's talking about using a gear lever, which is the, um, what's it here? There you go. Installing the gear lever app included in Bazite Desktop works seamlessly with the, because uh, pCloud is an app image. And that's why it was causing some issues. So I did that. I installed it with uh, gear lever, and you can see that it's, it's working now properly. So Bazite, as a you know a gaming distribution primarily, um, comes with you know, Steam and Proton and all that kind of stuff installed, ready to go. So I uh, started up Steam. It took a few minutes to initialize. I think it was updating, and I'm in the process of downloading one of the few games I have, Skyrim, which is an oldie but goodie. It should run fine in this laptop, and. Um, We'll check back in a minute and see what's going on. Let it do the Vulcan shader so it doesn't stutter when it's playing. Yeah. So there we are, Skyrim. In everyday use, I mean, Bazite seems pretty straightforward, uh, other than a few, you know, quirks it's during setup. Um, and just remembering that you're not maybe using the normal tools that you'd use to do updates and so on. Um, it's pretty seamless. Uh, for example, if you're updating a system, the best way is to use the update, system update button here. That will go in and check. Let's just check because I updated recently, so there's nothing to do. If it needs something, it'll go ahead and do the updates for you. Um, you also look in a terminal. There are other ways to do things too. Um, so this is the, the little blurb that you get when you open up a terminal. And it, we also have something here called UJust which is a kind of a scripting thing that lets you do stuff like um, you just update. And it does pretty much what the update thing just did. And there's a, there's a bunch of commands you can use to... Uh, this is technically, this is from the Bazite documentation. Technically, you just is not a packaging format, but are convenience commands that automate tasks using scripts that can be utilized to install specific software. And there's quite a lot of um, things you can do with it. Uh, for example, uh, you can do you just update, which I just did. You just set up dash decky. Uh, you just fix put on hang. There's a whole bunch of commands you can pull up and use. So that's kind of neat. Uh, also, there's brew, which is used as a or homebrew, which is used as a package manager that installs software. Um, you can also use that on Mac, I believe. Uh, it's instead of using RPMs, or, you know, using instead of using sudo DNF something, you would use Homebrew. So that's some of the sort of slight changes you have to make to to work with something like Bazite. But as I said, other than those few things, it's um, you know pretty pretty seamless uh, as a day to day operating system. So I'm I'm pretty impressed by this. I like the idea that it's immutable. 
There's not too much extra churn on top of that as far as the user is concerned, at least in my admittedly limited application. You know, I, I don't do a whole lot of stuff. I do the basics, uh, video editing, some image editing, uh, email, audio editing, uh, stuff like that. Nothing super fancy schmancy. So as far as I'm concerned, yeah, I could, I could see myself using this as a daily driver. I probably will for the next week or two anyway, see if there's any more, uh, stuff lurking in the background I'm not aware of, but maybe my first big update when there's a, like a kernel update, because right now it's running kernel, um, I think it's 617. Let me see here. Yeah, 617.7, so it's not updated to 618 yet. So I think that comes when, as far as I remember, Fedora waits a little bit um, through the the version to get to maybe 6.18.4, and then it would push it out to everybody. So I'm assuming Bazite will do the same thing. So I don't know how much of a churn that's going to be when there's an actual kernel, you know, major kernel update. We'll see. And... uh but right now, I'm I'm digging this. This is pretty cool. So that's another video in the can. If you found this interesting or informative or even funny, give me a like and maybe even subscribe. And remember, be excellent to each other.